Is that blood? I'm afraid it is. It never does quite wash out all the way, does it? And that bugger was leaking quite a bit of it. The escape prisoner? Indeed. I was supposed to be interviewing the lad. You're not an officer, are you? I'm a journalist. I've been collecting personal accounts for the war for the UN. Ah, oh, UN. Lovely good idea, that is. Oh, forgive me. Major Tobias Wright. Frank Aldridge. A pleasure. So, what happened today? Some of our German guests took it upon themselves to stage an escape attempt. I know that much. I saw the truck come in. Mm. <laughs> you are a journalist, aren't you? Well, don't worry. I'll fill you in. Let me get a spot of tea. Right. So as I was saying, some of the prisoners did get through the south wire today. They'd done it by uh, ingeniously acquiring some tools. And it was a group effort, so I believe it was premeditated. How many escaped? Four. But uh, only one has been caught so far. Where was he? <laughs> well, that's the funny bit. He found this dodgy barn, and he somehow got it into his head to hide inside there. The silly Pratt didn't realize that would be the very first place we would look. Anyway, he got up in the loft, and then he fell through, and he got his leg caught in the floor planks. I imagine apprehending him was easy. You would think so, but no. The, the bug had managed to get hold of a pistol, and he began firing at our boys. Did he kill anyone? Oh, not even close. He ran out of bullets, and then they shot him in the arm. Christ. Hmm. They warped him pretty good, and they, of course, brought him back here to me. Why run? What could he have possibly gained? The one that we caught seems to think that once we release them, that we'd be shipping them off to some French gulag, or God forbid the Soviets. You couldn't be serious. Well, if he believed it enough to want to risk his life. The resilient bugger hasn't even told us where his friends had gone off to. Say, here's a thought. You're a journalist. Maybe he'll open up for you. <laughs> Maybe, although I doubt I'll be able to look into that. Interview's been suspended till everything settles down. Hmm. I think we're all ready for things to settle down a bit, wouldn't you say? Well, at any rate, I had best be off. It's a pleasure talking to you, Frank. Nice meeting you too, Major. Oh, nonsense. Call me Toby. I'm sure at this point we're best friends, eh? You will make me look good in your article, won't you? It's going to be a book. 